with me in the studio, I have an alien. Actually, this is Justin Hume of Samsung South Africa, wearing one of the new products that Samsung launched at the IFA show in Berlin a couple of months ago. Samsung with a do dominant brand at IFA with a range of new devices that we're going to be talking about now. Among other, we saw this device, which was launched in May, being upgraded. This was the Gear 2, which ran the Tizen operating system but depended heavily on the link to the smartphone. Now you have the Gear S, which if you look closely, you can see it looks almost like an Android interface with little apps running across the screen. That's a two inch curved screen, but more significant than the curve of the screen and the size of it is that it carries its own SIM card. It's got independent 3G capability. So you can use it as a standalone device. You can use it even as a phone or as a data streaming device, or you can pair it with your phone. And then they also launched their new a note range, the Note 4 and the Note Edge, which we'll talk about a little more in a moment. Justin, what is Samsung's strategy in continually pushing the boundaries of technology? Arthur, thanks. So I think particularly with the Note 4, we have um, taken the concept of the phablet market, uh, the larger screen form factor. So we've kept the 5.7 inch um, display, but we've massively upgraded the resolution. So on the Note 4, we now have a Quad HD Super AMOLED display. So you can now take that multimedia content that you streaming, that you drawing down from the net, and effectively view that in stunning reality. I think the second part that we've added to the Note 4 from the Note 3 is we've upgraded the design factor of the, of the product. We've added an aluminium uh, me metallic frame to, to the product and on top of that we've enhanced the S Pen capability. So that's something that's been synonymous with Note uh, users in the past and we found that those users uh, utilize the S Pen functionality uh, literally in their everyday lives, particularly around productivity-based uh, applications. So that as a package with Note 4 is what we've tried to deliver uh, to our consumer. But a virtual reality headset? Okay, so this is the fun part about Galaxy Note 4 and our product system that we're building around it. So given the high resolution screen that we have on board the product, we've partnered with Oculus, who are arguably the leaders, the pioneers in the VR space. And we've been able to produce the first uh, truly mass consumer virtual reality device uh, available. So we take the content, the power, and the processing speed that's available on Note 4, we inject it into the Gear VR, and that can give the user the most incredible immersive a cinematic experience on, uh, on a VR device. It's the equivalent of sitting approximately two meters away from a IMAX type of cinema screen, but literally in the comfort of your bedroom, your lounge, uh, wherever it might be. Let's look at how this works. You flip off the front, you slide in your Note 4, flip it on again, stick it over your head, and voila, I'm a spaceman. <laughs>